question 6. f of x is this function, x is greater than 2 and x is a member of the real numbers. Given this, find the values of the constants a and the constant b. Just as with fractions, if we were to have a fraction such as 3 over 2, a top heavy fraction we call an improper fraction. An improper algebraic fraction is one whose numerator has a degree that is equal to a larger than the denominator. This means that the highest power of x on top, here it's a 4, is greater than or equal to the highest power of x on the bottom. To solve this question, there's two methods that we could use. One is the remainder theorem, or we could use long division. I prefer to use long division to solve questions like this. We begin by writing the numerator, x to the 4 plus x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 6, divide by x squared plus x minus 6. So we need to find the term such that when multiplied by x squared gives us x to the power of 4. This term is x squared. x squared times x squared gives x to the power of 4. For the next part we can think of as multiplying this by all of these. If it helps you can write this out on the side. So x squared times x squared times by x and also times by minus 6. And we write down the answers here. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times minus 6 is minus 6x squared. And then we subtract these x to the 4 take away x to the 4 is 0, x cubed take away x cubed is 0, minus 3x squared take away minus 6x squared, the minus and the minus makes a plus, so we have minus 3x squared plus 6x squared, this gives 3x squared. Normally we only bring down the next term, but because both of these were 0, we bring down the next two terms. And we repeat the process we just did. So we're looking for a term when multiplied by x squared gives us 3x squared, and this is 3. Again, you can write on the side 3 times x squared plus x minus 6. This gives 3x squared plus 3x minus 18. We subtract 3x squared take away 3x squared is 0. 7x take away 3x is 4x minus 6 take away minus 18 becomes minus 6 plus 18 which gives us plus 12. So our answer is x squared plus 3 plus the remainder 4x plus 12 over what you were dividing by x squared plus x minus 6. We can factor out the 4 on the top and the bottom is a quadratic which we can factorise to get we can see that these terms cancel out so our final answer for this part is x squared plus 3 plus 4 over x minus 2 therefore our a equals 3 and our b equals 4 Part B of the question says, hence or otherwise, well we know it's not going to be an otherwise, using calculus, which means either by differentiating or integrating, find an equation of the normal to the curve with equation y equals f of x at the point where x equals 3. From part A, we know that f of x equals x squared plus 3 plus 4 over x minus 2. To differentiate, it's best to move this to the top. Just like 1 over x is equal to x to the minus 1, we can move this to the top. So we can write it as x squared plus 3 plus 4 times x minus 2 to the power of minus 1. We have y equals f of x. We need to be comfortable with the two different notations we could use here for differentiation. So we could have dy dx, which is also the same as f dash of x d squared y dx squared would be the same as f double dash. We don't need to use it for this question. So differentiating, we get 2x. 3 differentiates to give 0. 
to differentiate this term so minus 1 comes down and multiplies with the 4 to give a minus 4 the bracket stays the same we subtract 1 from the power and we multiply by the derivative of what's in the bracket which is 1 and that's the same as not even writing it down changing this to a positive power you don't need to but for further calculations later on it's easier it will be 2x minus 4 over x minus 2 squared to find the gradient of the normal we first need to find the gradient of the tangent and we can find the gradient of the tangent by subbing x equals 3 into this the derivative simplifying this gives us 6 minus 4 over 1 squared which equals 2 so gradient of tangent equals 2 therefore the gradient of the normal equals minus a half this is because the tangent and normal are perpendicular so the gradients will multiply to give minus 1 we also need to find the y value at the point x equals 3 and because y is equal to f of x we can sub x equals 3 into this to get the y so f of 3 equals the tangent and normal are both straight lines so they will have an equation of the form y equals mx plus c we know the gradient is minus a half and we also know that the normal goes through the point 316 so we sub the 3 as our x value and the 16 as our y to get 16 equals minus a half times 3 plus c finally to find c we move the minus 3 over 2 across 16 plus 3 over 2 which gives us 35 over 2 the equation of the normal therefore is y equals minus a half x plus 35 over 2.